do from that point on is beg me not to tell my father. But whenever I see Uncle Wyndham, as we like to call him, I'm not going to say Happy Halloween. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! That was awesome. That was epic. <laughs> How'd you turn it off? <laughs> disappointed in you. Don't you know that cutting something you do between you and yourself, not other people? Come on. I'm sorry, I, I learned it from you. Oh. So, the ball razor blades, correct? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, do, you yeah. want, do you want the angular ones or the square base? Well, I like the double-sided square ones so I get four corner sets out of it. Oh, okay, hold on a second. Yeah, here we go. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and I hope you know, those have a lifetime warranty. If they ever wear out on your skin, we give you another batch. Oh, and right over there is the self iron maidens, if you ever think about it. Well, I hear that story. I'm on the family plan. <laughs> oh, that's your son who comes in here. He's really good. Dude, he's a better customer than you. Dude, he's not my son. Oh, that's my daughter, dude. <laughs> oh! I didn't know. I'm sorry. Is that a trap? <laughs> Anytime for this. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Are you his daughter too? I'm not his daughter. Oh, you can I confirm that? Oh! Oh! You're his son. <laughs> oh! I don't think I am. My great apology. <laughs> Alright, so dude, I was at the bar last night, and this guy comes up to the counter and just starts cutting, like right there on the bar. And I'm like, what the hell, dude? He's like, dude, mind your own business. And I, so, so anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, that, that's a weird story. <laughs> 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 Alright. Oh, I got a how are you doing, sexy? Woo! <laughs> you like my parents, dude? Dad, it's rapist. Oh! 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 I'm sorry, I don't get twice in one day. Oh! I'm sorry, I know you only like to do it in the bedroom. I'm very sorry. But I don't worry about it, he's my son. It's okay. <laughs> How did you make it feel when uh, your father told you that it was alright because he was, you were his son? Well, we're, like, we're a very close family. <laughs> I think that in our sessions, but at what age do you think it was you realized that, uh, that you were the one who murdered your mother? I think it was around 12. <laughs> That's kind of weird since you cut her to death when you were 14. I so. have <laughs> to say that was a very special child. <laughs> you know, son, I know we've been playing around now and then for a few months. <laughs> I was just wondering if you wanted to go on a date. I've got this great place to take you. Beautiful atmosphere, romantic even. The waiters are amazing. They only speak French. I'm not sure this is appropriate for my 14th birthday. Oh! Oh! Hey, 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 mom. Mom's on vacation. She had to go visit. She'll be back just in time for your birthday. We're going to do a special birthday dinner between you and me. Okay. It'll be soon. It'll be soon. No, that's me. That's not my knife. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, seriously, my friend was telling me about this other day. Haunted houses are the greatest places to pick up girls. Hello? Uh, the last time I picked up a girl at a haunted house, I mean, like, it was really great, but she kept doing the same thing over and over again. Like, just like this, all night. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty awesome. I had a similar experience. I was at this haunted house, and this girl kept making moves on me. It was always... Dude, I don't know if that, but she just kept doing it, man. But I totally think she's in me. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a whole time I was all about that.